Gang, how are you? Chewy, Lunatic Fringe, Posiwi, Donnie G and AZ. How y'all doing? How's lovely Arizona? Uh, greetings to all and to all uh, FishTube Live goodness. How y'all doing? Uh, busy week around the old homestead. I'm uh, doing as tradition. Logan! S! Hey, uh, Logan, are you are you in Arkansas yet? Daryl Deemer! What is up? Don Gallagher in the house, everybody. Yeah, let's see. What's going on in my little world? I don't know. Just busy wrangling a puppy. She's getting much better. You know, it's just getting her right. Not yet. You have to load a bunch of stuff there next week and turn around and it came right back. Okay. Okay. The ceiling. Yeah, what else is going on, gang? Sellers are still moving out. They have until February 1st to vacate. Okay. Yeah, very good. You'll love Arkansas. I miss it. I'm not that far away. I get down to Fayetteville every once in a while. Which the Northwest Aquarium Society, uh, Northwest Arkansas Aquarium Society, get back to meetings. And uh, it's really a good group of people. Uh, Maggie the dog is doing well. I may be down in Arkansas this week. Uh, I have to sort of weigh it out. Um, my uh, dog. Or it might, uh, I, there's a, a, a brokerage, actually a legitimate Securities Exchange Commission registered brokerage to buy into racehorses. It's called My Racehorse. And I own, I think, about 19 aquariums, or 19, not 19 aquariums, 19 horses. 19 horses indeed. No other changes there? Yep. Got to keep, uh, you got to put on a thing that sells really good. That's my, uh, that's my, my deal. Uh, it's uh, lots of stuff going on. Um So that's good. That's strong. Let's see what else is up. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, Got to get the water changes, the weather changes, the, you know, everything done. Uh, it's I've got to fill up one of my deals. Doug Gray, Petro Man, 1185. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so uh, one of my horses that I own, I mean, when it comes into a small share, I mean, it's a small share. Uh, Doug Gray, the man who owns a sprawling vacation home in a secret alien base at the South Pole, Peter Thiel. Yeah, I love me some alien bases. I'm pro that. I am pro that all the way around. I'm a little meat sick today. I uh, I really, uh, you know, my whole deal is that, uh, you know, my uh, uh, diet, which has almost no meat in it at all, except I'll do make some sandwiches, a couple of slices of uh, turkey on it. It's, uh, I had, the only meat I had had in about two weeks, other than fish, seafood, 
was uh, I had two pieces of bacon when I went to Waffle House on New Year's Eve morning. So I ate a cheesesteak. No, I went to Brahms. And if you have a, wherever you are, if you're like in Arkansas or Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Brahms is kind of a, is a burger type place. And they sort of do it. The best way to describe it is that you know, they have their own ice cream shop in there. Mr. Gallagher, welcome. And uh, and so it's nice. So I just went in yesterday because I had not had meat. I don't, I had some meat on Christmas Day. But I had not had meat, you know, other than that for a couple of weeks. So I got a triple cheeseburger. And no fries, no drink. I just ate it. And I was paying for it this morning. Holy capoli. It was delicious, though. And it's good that, uh, you know, you go through it. And if anybody has made the the run of doing, you know, what I do is I call it modified vegan, which, by the way, drives vegans nuts. So it's a win. Um, my... Um, Modified vegan lifestyle essentially is I'll have eggs. I made uh, vegan chorizo. I put a slice of cheese in it with a couple of eggs for breakfast with uh, uh, for. Yeah, I think I had. What I make? Oh, I made. Oh, for Christmas Eve. I had meat there too. I had a couple of uh, uh, smoked turkey legs and I made a baked potato. And the vegan uh, spread, butter like spread, um, it works well on toast. It works well on a number of things. It does not work at all for me on a baked potato. And I don't do that very often. So there you go. So yeah, so uh, Ali Sean. Doug is setting up a plant tissue culture lab. Too bad. Laminar glow hoods are back ordered for three years. Yep. Are you sure he's doing plant tissue or, you know, growing the sticky icky? Little grow lab in his basement. Ali Sean can't make it. He's returning his Jets playoff tickets. A couple of good football games today. Go, uh, go Eagles. Go Chiefs. By the way, uh, I don't think Jalen Hurts is that bad of a deal here, gang. I think he is... Uh, I think he very well could be a legit QB in this league. He may not be the flashiest, but hell, Tom Brady isn't the flashiest. I think he has some leadership skills. So, yeah, so here's what's going on with the fish. I don't know. I uh, Yesterday, you know, I mix up my own uh, flake food. And I mix it all together and stuff like that. And I actually spilled about a half a, uh, you know, I have like one of those uh, New Life Spectrum containers that I put it all in, mix it all together. And I spilled about half of it yesterday. I was really proud of that. Proud of myself there. That was a good move. It's, uh, it's, it's all good. Yeah, so the fish are doing great. Uh, I get to uh, load up uh, my one of my, uh, after some water changes the other day, I've got to load up my uh, garbage pail and allow the water to age, treat it and get it going. Except for a few teams, most of the NFL is mediocre to awful. I'm going to tell you what, Allie, John. 
I am convinced that, you know, the uh, COVID protocols and the stuff these players are forced to do are keeping them from training properly. And if you don't train well, yeah, we just have to get past it. We have to work through. It's a virus. We're living with it. If you're vaccinated, you don't get as ill. I have two people I know in the last six months who died who were not vaccinated and really good people. Go Cardinals. Absolutely. It's a real team. But a lot of these guys were not doing their normal training. Chevy Fish, how are you? You know, so that, that's part of the deal. They're not getting into the shape they should be in. And I think you're seeing a little bit of it in the NBA as well, where some of these guys have been missing games. And I think it's because they're not training the way they should. And uh, that's, you know, part of the deal. So that's my opinion. I'm a simple man. One of the great things about water changes is that it gets all the poop and junk out. And it also, yeah, S, yeah, you're right. I saw Doug's uh, video this morning on the Red Lace uh, Guppy video where he's doing that cross. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. By the way, uh, have you been following these stories about the Apple tags? Just lost a friend in the club from it. Yeah. He hung on since Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, Chevy Fish. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Um, So Apple now has the Apple tag. And technically, it's set up to make sure you can find things like your car, like, uh, you know, uh, you know, like uh, certain things you put in there and you look at your phone and you go in. Well, it's turning out to be a thing for stalkers. And uh, and I think both Doug and Ali Sean have the fish fam stalker stalkers who want to learn more about their aquariums. So they've uh, they put those apple tags. So there's some woman who's a swimsuit model of sorts. And uh, and she had one of those Apple tag things put into her pocket of one of her jackets or something. I'm going to give you a helpful hint that it was not me. Yet, yeah, Doug, the woman is very attractive, but she's a swimsuit model. Lord knows they should be. It's not like you go and uh, to Las Vegas and the go ladies go to Las Vegas and they go to the Thunder from down under and they see a guy in my shape up there shaking around. No. They don't. It, it, it is what it is. So I've uh for Christmas I got this amazing gift. Uh, from a sibling, uh, uh, an Amazon gift card. And yes, I did buy some fish stuff. I bought some Maggie stuff. I bought uh, some new towels. I bought, uh, yeah, I bought a wide variety of stuff on it. And so that was good. Uh, Yes, and for those wondering, that noise in the background, I'm doing laundry. And the dryer is a running. The dryer is a running like there's no tomorrow. Except I have a problem with the dryer. Maybe you guys can help me out. Remember, this is the Fish Room Barbershop. Anything goes. Yeah, the dryer buzz is coming. You'll never know when, but it's coming. I don't think in the next 15 minutes. I'm on uh, load 
uh, six for the day or for the for the weekend. Yesterday I did a few loads, and today I'm doing a few loads. So there you go. To get one of those uh, cleaners, like uh, you know, for the dryer. I wonder where how much those are. Let me look. Amazon. Uh, ah. Yeah, this is neat. Okay, I'm going to have to figure this out. Okay, well, I may have to order uh, a couple of these things. I'm having an issue, by the way, gang, with my dryer lint. All right, I see it. I'll look later on. I'll get it. Yeah, Doug, They I lost my Amica Splendens. So here's what's happened, gang, with my Amica Splendens, which I had for about two and a half years. Um, I got home uh, at Thanksgiving, and I was gone. I was gone for like three days and I had like uh, 10 in the aquarium and six were dead. And it was not Ali Shun's fault. So I get the dead ones out of there. I do a water change. I put in, uh, you know, some treatment. Doug said, well, why don't you use some uh, a medicated flake food? I did it. And I thought they were beginning to turn around. I lost another one. If I had three remaining, they were beginning to go good. And then, boom, they just, in a matter of a couple of days, were gone. I mean, they just, I don't know what happened. I'm going to have to reset that aquarium. And uh, I'd love to do them again. So we'll figure out what I'm doing with that tank. So I have a lady... Uh, no, the uh, Chevy. I have this was generations. I've had them for generations, and I don't know if they were too inbred. I don't know what the deal was. I had had them for like three generations. So, what's up, Color Guppies? Vinay's in the house. So I. Uh, I've been building a relationship with a lady and uh, Rico. Yes. How you doing, man? So uh, here's how this works. I did not send the cadavers to uh, Ali Sean uh, for, uh, for him reanimating them. Well, sounds good, Allie, Sean. Let's talk when the weather warms up. That would be great. So, yeah, it uh, the guppies, though, are just killing it. I mean, just absolutely killing it. This week was a little tough. I mean, it's uh, I did a bunch of water changes, and I've had a lot of evaporation. And, uh, I mean, shockingly amount, a large amount, but... The temperature got down to about 10 degrees here in my home. Uh, here in Joplin, Mo, your homes are really not. And I have a newer home. My home's like nine years old, 10 years old. Uh, I guess it's 10. Um, 
the whole you know the the normal low stuff is like 20. So we've had we had a real cold snap and so my furnace was working overtime. So there you go. Outdoor tubs. Yeah, so I have this lady friend. I'm a sort of building relationship, and perhaps there is romance involved. Perhaps there is not. But just, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, someone I've known a long time who's a widow. And, uh, and her late husband was one of my best friends. And so we're sort of building a relationship, and whether this turns into it. So I did Nola's Dolls and Aquatics. How you doing, Nola? Um, I uh, told her this week about the aquariums. I keep hearing Jerry Lewis is actually trying to do more of uh, uh, Bill Burr. That's Bill Burr probably does base it off of Jerry Lewis, but... Bill Burr, by the way, Bill Burr and uh, uh, Dave Chappelle are my absolute favorite comics right now. I, I cannot get enough of either of them. I think they're amazing. So, I told her about my aquarium habit and a couple of times on the phone with her this week. Let's see how that goes. We'll see if she like starts ghosting me. And I told her, uh, you know, it's in my top three stuff to set up more fish aquariums this year. I I figure I gotta do whatever I can to scare her a little bit. You know, make sure she's because you know, because all of a sudden she, you know, she moves on in. Uh, I don't want, like, her redesigning uh, how many fish aquariums I have. Is it love or fish aquariums? Women ghost you before you even meet them. You see, there you go. It, it's, uh, yeah, so I've known this one for a long time. So it's, uh, and her late husband was, yeah, really one of my best friends. I went back with over 30 years. He and I, when we were like, you know, teenagers, uh, started at the same company while we were both going to school. And so, yeah, good guy. So, and he died a couple of years ago. The Nasky Fish Koto. How you doing? It's a uh, cancer, by the way, everybody. Yeah, it sucks. It's uh, it's a real tough deal. We had an extended family member pass away of cancer in the last couple of weeks, and but she was eighty five, so that's not terrible. Yeah. You lost seven due to your room heater not being able to keep up. Yep. Where are you, Chevy? What uh, state or big city or small city are you near or in? As you can hear in the background, doing some laundry. And I'm doing that for Rico Stan and Doug Gray especially. Oh, you're in Illinois? Yep, Pool City, Illinois. My sister is in suburban Chicago. And uh, so I went up to Thanksgiving to my sister's house. You know, it was like, 55 degrees when I left here, and you're in a car the entire time with a heater and stuff. You know, I'm wearing shorts. I'm in a t-shirt. You know, I'm not getting out of the car that much. I have the, you know, I have the, uh, I have a coat in the back seat. 
So I arrive at my sister's house. It's like 22. And I'm knocking at the door wearing shorts and a T-shirt. And she goes, didn't you bring a coat or a sweater or something? <laughs> sure I did. <laughs> By the way, the whole weight loss thing that I've been on, uh, my journey to drop, I'm about, now I'm 11 pounds away from my first target. Uh, it's, uh, and I have to thank Good Eating and, of course, my puppy, Maggie, who, I mean, already today, it was nice and warm in the backseat, Chevy Fish. Exactly. Yeah, it was. I put it on. I uh, went out there. I just wanted to go in, find out where they wanted me to park the car. You know how that stuff. So there you go. Let's see here. How many steps? Have I, I Already today, and it's uh, 1220 my time. I'm already at 6,600 steps for the day, 6,627 steps. So far this year, I'm averaging 9,271 set, uh, steps a day. The day it was really cold, that was the day I didn't hit my deal. The last month, I've done t over 10,000. last seven days, a little bit less at 9,226. So there you go. John Oliver, how are you doing, buddy? Hey, I may be, I'll let you know, I may be down in Arkansas late this next week. It's, uh, I may be down there for, uh, in Hot Springs of all places. I'll let you know ahead of time. So it's, uh, my, uh, and I was saying this earlier in the thing. If I'm repeating myself to you, I apologize. Uh, humor me. Um, MyRacehorse.com is a brokerage site where you can buy into, uh, where you can go and buy into horses for a little, a little money. I mean, I, I've been to a couple for like thirty dollars, so it's a real small share of a horse, and some of these horses. Most of the horses, they they do okay, but they're not. And you're hoping to get that one or two that are really exciting. Well, chasing time is very exciting. Um, if he runs next Saturday or Sunday, I will go down to Hot Springs and uh, watch him run. Uh, it's uh, I will go down to enjoy it. I can't go on Friday, unfortunately, because at work, we're a person short. I had somebody quit right after Christmas. And uh, and so he quit. And so now I'm short people and uh, and I can't leave. So it's uh, I could, but it would be really bad for the office. So. It's uh, so, but I'll let you know if, if he's running on Saturday or Sunday, I'm going, I'll set Maggie up, uh, you know, at, you know, I'll put Maggie somewhere over at, you know, at uh, the boarding place through my vet's office overnight and I'll head straight down. So uh, I'll find out, I think on Monday or Tuesday, and I'll let you know, uh, John, if I'm on my way, let me take, make sure I have the date right so it's uh i know they're looking for friday saturday or sunday so i hope it's saturday or sunday and uh and get that going on so it's uh i'm looking
So I'll let you know. It's really, uh, it's an interesting thing about a, how a horse gets scheduled. Uh, the horse is named Chasing Time. And he's like on the, uh, and again, uh, you don't know if there's an injury or anything like this. Oh, double digits. Yeah, today it's in the 40s. Let me ask. Alexa, what's the current temperature? Right now, it's 49 degrees Fahrenheit. 49 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's something I found on the web. Alexa, turn off. Sorry if I set off your personal assistance. Yeah, double digits are good. Double digits are strong. <laughs> Your uh, personal assistant just ordered a pizza, huh? I have a football game coming up, so I have I have here. Talk about excitement. A heat wave. Yep, I've got a heat wave going on. Heat eve? Heat wave, okay. For a second I was thinking I was missing out on some joke, which very well could be likely. Yeah, tomorrow it's not going to be as nice. Tomorrow, I think we're going to be in the 30s, which is awfully uh, keep me inside and not doing a lot. I'll try to get out a little bit. I have to get out a little bit uh, just because it's uh, this may sound terrible. But when you're dealing with a puppy, sometimes you get a little time away from the puppy, even though she she's really good. And I swear to you, her ball I could throw a hundred times in a row to her and she'd be happy. And I'm not taking her out in the backyard because she'll be completely wet. Because we had rain the other day and snow, I should say. Typing on a cracked screen which bends the letters as you type. I have done that. It's, uh, have any of you guys gone to 5G, by the way, speaking of phones? I have, like, I have the Samsung S10, which is almost a three year, it's, it'll be a three year old phone for me in uh, March, so just a couple of months away. I really, really like it. Um, and it's not 5G, but I really, really like it. And so I'm like going, oh, when do I make that move? And I purposefully, because of, uh, and this is not virtue signaling, I don't own Apple products. And because I don't like their business practices uh, with forced labor. Labor. If you have not a, pro I, you know, again, that's just my thing. So that's a deal in China. So I've avoided the Apple products. Yep, Chevy, uh, Doug Gray was just teasing you. And it's okay. Just, it's okay. Let's see what else is up, gang. I don't know. It's just been so busy. Uh, you know, it's been real, real busy all the way around. Apples are for eating in your home. Yep. And for pie. Delicious pies. So, by the way, when people talk, uh, and... I'm guilty of this, 
but I'm not guilty of this at like doing this at the office or doing this at, uh, uh, or doing this like at the grocery store, you know, speaking, you know, on your cell phone, having, you know, talking into the speaker, you know, people do that. Walking around, well, one of my coworkers loves to do that. And so he's talking to his wife. And, uh, and I decided I was going to embarrass him a little bit. So I actually said this. I said, you are so lucky to have this good man as your husband. When he gets home, I hope he has a fresh baked pie. This poor guy was horrified that I would have said something like that. But, you know, if you're talking on the speakerphone, you know, it's uh, you're a part of the conversation. And I swear to you. I, I go to the grocery store or I'm at uh, Target or Home Depot. There, you always seem to find that person. You almost want to say, do you think this underwear looks good on me? Just, uh, you know, mix things up. There you go. I did that for you, Doug Gray. Enrico Stan, if you're still here. Yeah, so my horse chasing time, he's on the Kentucky Derby uh, Trail. On one of the rankings, he's number four in the Kentucky Derby favorites at this point. Way too early. Way too early. And uh, mainly because he... A horse to reach that those types of things, a lot of things have to go their way. It's they have to avoid injury. Uh, sometimes injuries happen in training. Sometimes they happen uh, in a race. Uh, you know, sometimes you know, and it and these injuries are not necessarily really big injuries. Some of them will all of a sudden have a cracked hoof. And so all of a sudden they're off their hoof for, you know, 60 days. Well, between now and May, the horses, whoever gets into the Kentucky Derby, they cannot have any setbacks. You know, a setback for a week, fine. But anything that keeps them from being in training, there you go. Be able to hide illegal drugs. Apples are good for that. And that's a good thing to say to the person that's going from there. Hey, where'd you put the cocaine? Bob Kaler can't make it. He's at Graceland celebrating Elvis's birthday. Is today Elvis's birthday? It very well could be. Uh, it's, uh, let me look that up. Oh, it, it is today, and uh, he would be uh, 87 years old. I think that uh, looking at his particular health habits, I don't think he would be someone that would be able to make it. I don't think he would be able to make it at all. But that's just me. It's, uh, it would be a heck, you know, my dad lived, uh, you know, relatively, uh, you know, healthy life. He smoked cigars for years, but other than that, it was, you know, he lived a good life and, you know, he got to 84, you know, that ain't bad. Except the older you get, the younger this 84 begins to sound. <laughs> Elvis shoved cotton up his nose. There you go. Sometimes cotton gets shoved up their nose so they can run out of out of air quicker and run slower.
If the horse is named Elvis, maybe. No, I don't have a horse named Elvis. So on Tuesday, yeah, Bobby Baffert. On Tuesday, three of my horses that I have small shares in are for sale. Uh, if uh, And unfortunately, I didn't hit the lottery yesterday, so I can't buy one. So Lady Valentine, it's uh, American Heiress, and uh, what's, what's the name of the other one? Yeah, you see, you know you own too many horses when you can't remember their names. So uh, let's see, Lady Valentine, American heiress. American heiress is a daughter of American Pharaoh. And Joyful Addiction. Joyful Addiction, I think, got onto the track once and did nothing. Lady Valentine just wasn't very fast. Uh, so there you go. And American heiress, yeah, she just didn't want to run. So it is what it is. And remember, these are like people or like anything like this. You could have all the physical ability and all the stuff, but if you don't like doing it, the first horse I bought into was a horse named Wayne O. And Wayne O did win a race and did relatively well for a period. Then he had a little injury, another little injury, and he had no desire to run. So they uh, gelded him. And now I think he is, uh, I think they uh, call him Glue Factory Gus as he uh, does like one of the trail rides uh, at, uh, you know, at the Grand Canyon. Levi's Aquatics. Ali Sean started a secret part-time job. He paints houses. Doug is willing to uh, trade Roebuck knockoffs for a horse. There you go. Chevy Fish. Yep, everyone's saying hi to Levi's Aquatics. Yeah, gang. So uh, all sorts of stuff there. I have to get a lint remover uh, because all of a sudden I'm having problems with lint getting into the lint deal. So I think I have to do one of these things where I go through and clean everything out. So after we're done speaking today, I'm going to order that off of the Amazon. And I think it'll be here Monday. Which would be strong. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, what else is going on with the, I don't know, the fish are doing well, man. They're uh, kicking fanny, taking names. I I uh, finally received, I, well, I got it a couple of days ago. I haven't put it in. I, I was telling you guys last week that I had, uh, uh, no, it's just a dryer lint, dryer lint. For reasons started to malfunction. Yeah, I do have some pleco fl fl fry. Pleco fry, not fly. So there you go. Anybody trying new uh, fish food lately that you like or you don't like? Let me know. Yeah, Preco Fly. <laughs> That's right. A-yi-o-you, A-yi-o-you. Clear out the lint from my mouth. Diet Dr. Pepper is my uh, drink of choice today. So there you go. May have to go run an errand. I had, I should have had delivered to the house. I had uh, something delivered. I was at my mailbox earlier today and I uh, picked up a few things. And now I realize that I, uh, they have something else just pop in. 
Yeah, that's Ali Sean. That has to get done. It has to get done. I promise I'm going to get it uh, uh, complete here in the next several uh, in the next several months. I just have to uh, start getting it going. I a year. It, it just it hasn't happened. I uh, yeah. My deal is with the extreme flake. It was okay. Not high enough protein. If it's in your stores, try a drink called Roar. Very good stuff, but expensive. Is Roar an energy drink or is it booze? Yeah, and the deal is with the extreme products, uh, the only thing that they have that's high enough protein for my guppies, my guppies won't eat. None of them will eat it. And there are people that will go on and on talking about how their fish love it. Mine won't touch it. Oh, it's a natural type flavored drink? Huh. Got plankton, thinking it would be small enough for a little fish. and uh, But it's now designed for your larger fish. Uh, yeah. Big Tank Hank. How you doing? Yeah, my uh, my fish, the one thing from Extreme that uh, that I uh, you know ha had high enough protein, and all that sort of stuff. They they won't eat it. I have a big thing of it sitting here. I probably should just throw it away. And they sent it to me, uh, you know, hoping for a review. And their flake was fine. The fish ate it. It was just not high. I just used it as a supplement to my high protein flakes that I get. And I stretched it out for about a year. SpongeBob Plankton is so cute. Mail it to Ali Sean and tell me what a subscriber drawing. <laughs> Can't afford to feed it too many fish. Yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, again, I get my fish food from a Doug Ray. I get it from Ken's Fish. I get it from, uh, you know, Brine Shrimp Direct. Or, Ameri excuse me, American Brine Shrimp. You like you really like the extreme spirulina fl flakes and krill flakes. Yeah, I have not tried those. What I have right now in the mixture of flakes I have is I have some... Uh, Beef, uh, beef heart flakes. I have uh, some earthworm flakes, plankton flakes, silkworm flakes. And uh, American Brine Shrimp sent me some dehydrated uh, brine shrimp cubes. And I just, you know, I uh, basically grind that into with my hands into the thing as part of the feeding that they get. Yeah, I. By the way, uh, your fish stuff. I've gotten stuff from them, and I love it. Absolutely love it. You feed the extreme nano pellets to your uh, grindle worms. I've not done grindle worms. I think that's something I have to give a shot at. One of the guys who was selling a lot of uh, Grindle worms online is a guy that shows up at uh, uh, Northwest Aquarium, uh, Arkansas Aquarium Society stuff. And the last time he was there, I said, do you have any of those? He goes, I got rid of them. He goes, because people complain. I said, well, why are they complaining? He goes, 
I kept selling out cultures and people would say, oh, there's not enough there. Well, you know, it's a culture. You're getting your first thing. You have to sort of, I said, yeah, they're on crack. Yeah, my fish like Ken's fish foods as well. Isn't Grindel the wizard in the Lord of the Rings movies? Sure, why not? Uh, Gandalf and Grindel, same thing. And uh, and the worms that that come from him, the fish love. Hey, Ali, Sean, and Doug, have you ever done Grindel worms? Logan, do uh, any of you guys do uh, Grindle worms other than Chevy? You shall not pass, says the Grindle worms. Never used them? Okay. I think it's the monster in uh, Beowulf. I realize this, that my glasses aren't that clear, and I actually just cleaned them out. But Maggie, sometimes will just, a tongue will go across the glasses. Here, right there, there's a... Yep, Absolutely. That's why I told the guy. So I'm going to try Grindle Worm. So I'll give that a shot. My problem with, uh, you know, with, you know, doing micro worms and stuff, it just smelled like death. I'd come home and open the door and go, oh. Uh, Doug Gray, I have been getting some, not too much, but I have gotten some. You got three so far today. I will tell you that I, my phone number, my personal phone number uh, is a Google voice number so that Google can listen to all my calls. And they do a real good job of getting rid of spam. Um, now, my phone has a host phone number. And I do occasionally get uh, spam on that one. Occasionally. Yeah, it's, uh, I got a call from someone who I know if, uh, how my, uh, you know, if my, uh, car needed the, ex my car's extended warranty was falling out. I felt bad about that. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, and. It's always a recording. I sort of always wish it was a live person. Then I can sit there and say, hey, I got my car three months ago. Why are you calling me? You responded with uh, bleep you. In hindsight, that was an error. Yeah, it's responding is not good. It's just better just to block the number. And go from there. Block the number and just just move on and live a good life. Yep, get a few things done around the old house. Have some fun. Life is good. All right, gang, we've been here about an hour. I got to get a few things done. Thank you so much, one and all. And uh, I, you should respond. No, you better not respond because they'll do the same thing. They'll go, it's a legit number. Let's keep piling on it. All right, gang. Thank you so much and have an amazing uh, week. We'll see you next week. And the Monday Night Streams are coming back in the next week or two. Adios, amigos.